The great taking in 1976? You mean somebody knew about that way back then? I have a book here from my library. I'm going to read this. It takes little effort to visualize the astounding fortunes that will be made when the banks, owned or controlled by the international bankers, of course, foreclose on the unpaid mortgages on multiple millions of properties around the nation. That one move alone will leave that dark crew of financial pirates in control of most of the property in the United States. With this in mind, the reader should begin to grasp the tremendous insight and understanding possessed by Abraham Lincoln. Just prior to his assassination, Lincoln stated, quote, I see in call... I see in the near future a crisis approaching that inert unnerves me and calls me to tremble for the safety of our country. Corporations have been enthroned, an era of corruption in high places will follow, and the money power of the country will endeavor to prolong its reign by working upon the prejudices of the people until the wealth is aggregated in a few hands and the republic is destroyed. End of quotation. That is page 204 in this book right here. Fourth Reich of the Rich by Des Griffin, published in 1976 is when this was written. So, very interesting. Now, David Rogers Webb's book, uh, you know, he went a little bit farther with it, explaining how they did this with the, you know, collateralized debt and all the other stuff that they basically say that, you know, um, that when you sign up for a mortgage or whatever, that you are a surety and you can be traded and everything. You're a mortgage-backed security. That's your name that's on it. And that basically you are the collateral, your property is the collateral for the national debt. And, you know, the whole thing, uh, if you read the book or whatever, it's available online for free. His book, you know, The Great Taking. I bought a physical copy of it, but uh, did a video about it. You can watch that on the channel here. But that's why I have been warning people about debt. Right? And like I said the other day, doing one of these walk and talks, um, do what you can to try to get out of debt. It's a very important thing for you to do. And um, so uh, when the Bible says that the borrower is servant to the lender, you know that uh, you need to take that seriously. So just thought I'd do a real quick video showing that. I do recommend this book. It's a good book, has a lot of really good information in it. One of the very first books I read right around the time that I was really coming to the truth understanding of the truth and uh, ultimately that led me to salvation uh, through the Lord Jesus Christ after being a professing Christian nearly all my life since I was a seven or eight year old boy I think um, supposedly got saved in Sunday school I didn't get saved I prayed a prayer because there was pressure put on me and by a Sunday school teacher that wanted to report back that uh, X number of souls got saved in her Sunday school class that's all that that was I, there was no difference between me and the lost world. Well, I went to church. Every time the doors were open, I was a good little Christian. And uh, did a lot of things right, but, uh, you know, go over to friends' houses and we watch the dirty movies and look at the pornographic magazines and everything else. And cussing and just uh, being a little... Uh, I won't say the word because I don't use profanity, but H. Razor. Um, I wasn't saved. I was wicked. Like a lot of the people out there in the world. Well, I'm a Christian. Eh, I doubt that. And examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 talks about that, so I'm not telling you to do anything that's not according to the Scriptures. Make sure of your salvation. It's very important. So, that will be it. Thank you for watching.